What's up guys? Got two videos today gonna cover from air shows. Air show videos are super exciting because they show multiple angles, right? We have many people looking up into the sky. So two videos. The first one is this Miami air show video. It appears to be something coming out of the water is what I've been seeing a lot. Second video is this one from Queen's Jubilee. Platinum Jubilee, 70 years. There she is, the queen. Here's the UAP, look at that. What is that thing? Flying across. He saw it too as well. Chris Lado, welcome to Lado Files. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Chris Lado, retired F-16 pilot, now investigating UAPs. Really excited about these videos because it's air shows, right? And what a great resource air shows are because we have so many people looking up and videoing as well as we have cool planes flying around. So maybe that attracts UAPs or at any rate, we have a lot of people looking up with cameras. Okay, so let's get into these two videos. Remember to hit that like button. If you do like this content, it tells the algorithm, subscribe for future content as well. Thanks for being here. Okay, this first video is from the Miami Air Sea Air Show 2022. You see it there. This is passed around all the interwebs, Reddit, etc. Okay, so first thing I've noticed is that this is an F-18. <laughs> okay, it doesn't really look like it. A lot of people said it, it looks like the front of an F-16 actually. If you look at look at the uh, the actual canopy, but this part sticks out, and then later on you can tell it's definitely a, an F-18. Okay, F-18s are great. They are really really good at slow flight. Okay, F-18s can fly really, really slow. That's their game, angle of attack. They have that amazing angle of attack ability to fly slow, and it helps them on a carrier. Okay, that's why the Navy chose the F-18 over the F-16 back in 1980, is because two engines, right? Much better if you're flying over the ocean, uh, two engines, and they can fly really, really slow. So slow allows you to land on a ship. The slower you can fly, the better, the safer it is to land. Okay, F-16 lands pretty fast, around 150 knots. You don't want to do that with an F-18. So Navy chose this. Long story short, they're very good at slow flight, okay? They can fly really, really slow. So that's one of the optical illusions kind of going on here. This is a fighter jet, yeah, but he's not going very fast, okay? He's probably going 120 knots. I mean, how slow can an F-18 go? 115, 120 knots probably, I would guess. It's how slow they can fly. And this thing is 60 feet long, remember? So it's gonna be further away. Okay, this is less, you know, if you think about it, six inches across, this is 60 feet. So it's further than it looks. Okay, the other thing is they slow it down. But now the first thing I've had is it comes out of the water. So let's look. Does it come out of the water? I don't think so, actually. Let's look. So you check, right? It supposedly comes out of the water, right? It supposedly comes out of the water. Remember, the cameraman's filming. He's, he's panning to the right. But as he tracks to the right, it doesn't come out of the water. Okay, from what I can tell. I mean, I see something white there. Is that water flying up? I don't really see any splash now. Okay, maybe there was maybe a weird shadow or something. Okay, maybe a shadow. Maybe that's what's giving the impression that it's a... Okay, but then the shadow kind of stays there, right? Look, I mean, it's not necessarily even related. Okay, there's a shadow now. Okay, goes away, comes back, but now the shadow just stays there. Do you see that? So I don't, there's no indication to me that it comes out of the water is what I'm trying to explain here, right? There's no splash. You would, you'd be expecting some other, some white water, something like this, you know, but there's nothing. Okay, so to me, it doesn't, there's no, hard proof that it comes out of the ocean, right? And now if we look at it, it sure looks like it's flapping a wings to me, right? It, it basically, it's white when, it, when it's reflecting the most light, right? If it's like a white bird and its wings are down, wings are up, wings are down, right? So it's, it's flapping, okay? Now, the, let's look at the size as well. So if we go back here, okay, so when it comes into the frame, it is half my cursor width across, right? Roughly half, 
There's our F-18. Okay, it flies right back. So as it's flying by the F-18 now, I mean, <laughs> sure looks like a flapping bird. All right, now we go here. Okay, now you want to look now, the, it, the size, it's down to a third. Okay, so just in that split, just in that split frame right there, the object has grown by 30%, you know, a third. Now as we go up here, okay, let's go all the way to the end. Okay, let's go here. Okay, look, we're at quarter. Can I get a better? I mean, maybe it's longer than it is wide now. You're looking at a quarter of the size, okay? Remember it was a half, now, now it's a quarter. So it's, it's doubled. This object has doubled in size in that split second. So think about that. That means it's coming towards us, right? So basically, imagine that you, there's a bird essentially is starting down low um, and basically just flies over the over your left shoulder essentially watch it like in that let's watch it here imagine just a bird flying over your left shoulder as you're panning okay you can put it in slow motion I guess that'll help okay so it, that looked obvious to me, but I still wanted to find other angles. Okay, so I went and looked for other angles. I found this angle. Okay, this is from the opposite side. doesn't seem to help. Uh, and there's nothing in there that correlates that I could find. The F-18 does a sweet MMA maneuver, man. Pretty awesome. Uh, I was able to find this video. Okay, so this seemed like the only other reasonable video at the time. And I correlated it. Okay, so I matched it overlaid so if we go to right where the actual video right here okay and matched it up okay so this is matched right here correlated to the same time now if we go in zoomed in right fully zoomed in I mean it's far but there's there's just nothing in here right if I go back I'm going backwards here Unless you guys can see something I'm not. You know, there's just nothing. There's nothing in there that I can see. Those videos, okay? So despite all those people being out there, all those people in the water with cameras, and you can see them filming, they don't see this, I would say. It's, it's obviously a bird, okay? So we can just discount this one. Yeah. Oh well. Got a lot of practice learning what a bird looks like. So bummer, but we have a lot more angles for the Queen's Jubilee. Okay, so let's check out Queen's Jubilee now because we have so many more angles of this UAP. I think it's much clearer. Okay, so much clearer. So let's let's watch it through. This is the Platinum Jubilee fly fly past to June 2022. So 70 years Queen Elizabeth II has been on the throne. These are Eurofighters. Twin engine, very good jet. It's like Europe's top fourth generation fighter. The Rafael is amazing as well. Actually, I think the Rafael is better. All right, so here is the next one. First thing I'll see right now is I, I've seen a couple other people mention uh, birds flying across here. Okay, there is a bird. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see it that does fly by. I'm more interested. In, you see that right there? Okay, that is a bird, guys. Okay, it just flies by rapidly, obviously. Uh, I'm more interested in this, okay? So this thing basically almost correlated, okay? It's, it's, it's early, but maybe it's flying behind. I'm like, maybe, what is this thing? Okay, so I wanted to zoom in and see what it was. Is it a reflection? Is it a balloon or a bird? Okay, well, you can pretty much see it right there, right? <laughs> Looks just like a seagull. Exactly like a seagull, okay? And it's in front of the in front of the stanchion here. You can watch it later. It basically just dives down. Uh, because I do have six of these, okay? So I had that first one. That was the Sky News. This is the Big Jet one, okay? And I can pair them all based on their, their smoke changes. So you can pair it all based on their smoke changes. Let's look at the next one, okay? I couldn't find anything on this. You know, let me know. I'll play it here just so you can 
You guys can try and find something. There's that bird fly by. There's another bird. I mean, there's a lot of birds in the shot right now, but nothing up on the top, right? Nothing up here that would denote. There's the helicopter. Okay, that's the helicopter that filmed it. Do you see that? Watch the sucker. Okay, so this is the helicopter that's filming this, okay? So if we go back here, okay, that's the helicopter right there behind it. Okay, so right here we should be seeing in between the helicopter that filmed the UAP and these jets, right? We should be seeing something, something here. All right, something moving that we can see. I got nothing. I couldn't find anything in there. And other times when I looked. All right, this is another angle. This is where it first comes into frame. You can see it there. And then it seems to almost turn, right? I think it's must be parallax. There they go, the red arrows. This next view is pretty cool, right, from inside the plane. So here they come, the red arrows. Okay, now we're inside the plane, this is cool. Turn smoke on, blue smoke on. So again, we should be seeing something, right? Something up in the, in the top part here. Should be seeing anything entering the frame right now. So it'd basically be entering the frame and now spinning behind us or, or over us. Right. It actually, it, it looks closer when you're in the plane flying, the, flying this formation. Okay, that looks kind of far apart actually. Uh, feels much closer when you're up there. So that one, I did, couldn't find anything as well. This is another view from the other side. I'm not sure, 100% sure it's the same day. I matched this viewpoint. I'm not 100% sure it's the same day, but again, I didn't, I didn't see any UAPs either way. In this final video, I thought angle, this really was the best, okay? This is the best from the other side now. It gives us from down below and left, right? So basically underneath where the helicopter would be. So we have another angle here that should be seeing it shortly. All right, so here they come, the blue arrows, <laughs> the red, the blue arrows. Here they come, the red arrows. You'll see the smoke turns gray there. We should see it now. There should be something there. I mean, it's a great view, unobstructed. There's another helicopter you see up there that was filming and I couldn't see anything, okay? So right here, if there is a UAP, okay, we should be seeing something. I got nothing, but that's it. I mean, that's what multiple angles give us, man. We can go down and say, no, it's not a UAP. Like we tracked it. We have different angles looking at it, unless it's invisible from different angles, which I guess is possible. It's not a UAP. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button. It really helps the channel. It really helps me know what you like and the algorithm. Consider subscribing, right? If you subscribe, then you'll get notifications anytime I release a new video, at least every Friday. Support my channel at patreon.com forward slash Chris Lato. Thanks as always to you guys, to my patrons, and thanks for watching. The UAP Society, we are serious. We're, we are launching, we launched this week. You can mint right now. You can support our program by buying crypto. I know a lot of you don't like that, think it's crazy, but I think it's the way of the future and how we're gonna break through and solve this problem. Thanks for being here, guys. Have a great week. Peace.